And what I can show you here is one last command that might come in useful to see the port mappings for nbar. We just do a show IP nbar port map. And then you can see here the nbar port, which is mapping the BGP traffic. So as you can, I'm sorry, we can see the port that nbar is mapping, you know, the, the protocol to. So as you can see in this case, you know, BitTorrent is mapped to, uh, via nbar, a bunch of different uh, TCP ports. You can see here our OSPF. Actually, doesn't show up in this command, but um, as you can see, the list is pretty extensive here on all the different traffic that NBAR is mapping. So, again, this command is very useful to determine you know how nbar is mapping these uh these protocols and applications to their respective you know UDP and TCP port numbers and again the command that we did to check the nbar resources on the routers to show ip nbar resources gives us the how much memory nbar is utilizing on the router and also another command here to use is show IP NBAR PDLM. As you can see, we do not have any PDLMs installed. So when we do that, we don't have anything returned. So again, just wanted to make you guys aware of NBAR, show you guys how to configure it, how to verify that it's working and also how you can use quality of service policies such as the MQC to to use NBAR with using you know under the class map we went in and we matched based on the protocol uh, again that's an NBAR type uh, quality service policy there that we used and again NBAR very useful for discovering protocols and applications that are running on an interface so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video that I created and I hope you'll be with me with the next one.